back with another video in this video i'm going to review arrow os and finally we have another stable build for arrow os android 13 for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well now let's get started with the settings about section so we have android 13 version here and vanilla build of course you guys will get gf's link in description so use that one and latest september security update and kernel used here lineage os and you people already know about lineage os always stable kernel and if you want to enable the developer option just click in build numbers so we have here android 13 so let me show you the egg star or star egg whatever you say so this is android 13 And then we have the system and languages and input you guys already know about that i already showed that settings in many videos and here we have the navigation system and we have only customization to left edge and right edge and gesture bar that means if you don't need that navigation gesture bar then just turn that off and then we have one handed mode and working fine and we have sweep uh, to screenshot which is added and perfectly stable one and working very fine Then we have Google and password and accounts and other things as we have initial stage in Android 13 right now for all sources are getting ready for different custom rooms. So wait for uh, Other custom rooms, but Airways is now ready and you are ready to install and use so this is security we have only fingerprint and a screen lock in future we will get the face analog as well so wait for that uh, in previous build i showed you guys a uh, fingerprint was missing but this is the stable one and i blindly can recommend you guys to use that rom if you want to use in your daily life because things are really improved really really improved so you guys will know it later part in the video so we have wallpaper and style by default we have just only one wallpaper and we have dark theme and themed icons and app grid as well just like android 12.1 and we have accessibility as usual which we had in android 12. then we have the storage and battery i am really satisfied with the battery backup no issues and no complaint with that then we have other things like network and internet what we have and you people already know ROS always comes with less customization just like pixel experience and that's why we have very very buttery smooth experience so I'm using here dual sim and you guys can see here the Volti is recommended and it's fine and we have preferred network type use collection then we have Wi-Fi calling carrier video calling and this is it now let's talk about the smoothness and things are really really improved compared to android 12 and android 12.1 and things really really improved and this is just awesome app opening and closing just faster than and smoother than the earlier all builds like android 10 android 11 and android 12 whatever you say and here is the smoothness just butter smooth butter smooth if you install the rom you won't uh, be disappointed by using that room and we have the latest uh, just this is the initial stage of android 13 so that's why uh, we have here just like pixel experience room we have a dark background in the control center which you guys can see here and we have at the bottom edge uh, top top bottom here you guys can see right side we have the uh, reset, uh, restart emergency and lockdown whatever you say we have the power button and if you want to access the settings of course directly we can go there and what we have in the control center as usual we have all the necessary customization if you want to record your screen of course you guys can do that as well and we have extra dim battery save for screen cast and night light everything is fine here so now let's talk about some basic things which i need to show and this is the cpu throttling and the charge was let me show you the charge when i test it
uh, charge was 52% you guys can see here 52% charge I just tested this one if charge was uh, nine, above 90% then I would get better results much more better better results and now let me show you the Geekbench score and which is really impressive single core is 271 multi core 1116 and which is another best one so things are really improved and also that when I check it my charge was less than 60% uh, so that's the thing and if you keep using the ROM for some days you will get much more stable performance and uh, better Geekbench scores and CPU throttling results so no complaint and issues with that and here is the LMC 8.4 uh, Google camera or DSLR whatever you say I already made that video for you people of course this is working fine in Android 13 as well so if you miss the video check out description and other things like if you are asking me about root uh, this is not root supported yet you can't root if you root it you will face fast boot problem so don't try to root it use normally and by default safety net is passed so you guys can easily use any banking applications to your daily life so that's it hope you guys uh, understand the review and if i miss anything then just let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching